You know, you're knocking down doors and living your dreams and all that wonderful stuff. Anyway, the band said, what's up, people? Um, I want to talk to you about something. I don't know if you know about this, but, well, we talked about this before about Target. Because we talked about Target before. We talked about Target a whole bunch of times, you know. Transgenders in the background. For some reason, I don't, I don't get it. But, like I said before, Transgenders are no longer in the bathroom. To me, transgenders are no longer even in the storyline. To me, the whole story has to do with a bill that has to be signed so they can basically go after people who are minority. And the whole thing is they, they, they're they doing the bait and switch. They have to debate on that and go switch up on you once you um, sign the law, then everybody who's a minority is going to catch hell. Anybody better say. So, I don't know if you know about this, but this, we've been talking back and forth in reference to Target and stuff. And you know, Target, Target has not been backing down as far as you know, letting transgenders in the bathroom and stuff like that. And you know, um, it's a little bit of discrepancy within me myself because you know I understand we're going to do trans in the bathroom and stuff like that. But to me, I don't want to sound like a hypocrite, but you know, I don't feel as though it's fair for everybody to jump on a transgender wagon. Because the thing about it to me, and just my opinion, we're saying transgenders, but everybody who wants to be, uh, oh, I hate what I'm saying, but I have to say it. The transgenders, the real transgenders out there who are living in their truth and this way all the time versus the people who just get up and drag and don't go and drag sometimes. You know, live, it, live, live it today and not tomorrow, stuff like that. To me, they're, they're reaping the benefits of it because simple fact of the matter is we're just trying to get our rights as far as being equal. But to them, it's just like, well, I'll do this today, I'll do this tomorrow. And that's why I think the discrepancy is coming from as far as the fight and stuff. And you might, for instance, is we, don't, we do not like this umbrella everybody put us underneath. You know, because we're living in our truth, and yet still, they don't want to give us the bathroom. They're there, but they'll go, oh, well, they don't want to give you all the bathroom, girl, so just take everything off, and now she's going back to being a boy. But now we're stuck in a situation because... She was never really one, and she went inside the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? So the thing about it is that, you know, I don't knock anybody for what you want to do as far as you're like. But let's just be fair with this. Anybody been inside? So the CEO of Target, Brian Cornell, here's the picture right here. Well, he finally, well, he, he finally stepped up, and he wanted to let people know, you know, enough is enough. And he wanted to remind people that, Target was received a backlash in 1960 for putting black models and, you know, like, um, for their advertisers inside of the Target store. So basically what he's saying is that, you know, like you use models for clothes or for hair, or any type of ad, you know, hair, makeup, anything as far as, you know, something that's of an ethnic type of background. The, the um, stores, I guess the majority, didn't want black people face the side of the store because it would bring more black people. It's kind of like the suit that ended up making feel like, hey, this is a place for you and you could come here too. Okay, and here's a couple um, advertising that was inside of Target. Check this out. This is in 1960. Check this out. Okay, you see that? You know, it's so sad, you know, we go into this, but I can say one thing, we need, we may not unite as far as being minority, as far as majority, black, white, whatever it can be, but that when, when you just, when you are LGBT, especially T, you are officially a minority. <laughs> it's not funny, but 
Anybody who's white, who's gay, you finally see what it's like to be black. That's no shade, but it's realistic form. At this point in your life, you kind of see exactly what they were going through. And um, he left a video in reference to this, um, Brian, and he's going to tell you exactly what I'm saying as well. You know, by the living area truth. You can, I don't need an idea of what's actually happening. Speaking of right challenges, uh, businesses have wound up really in the middle of dealing with this North Carolina bathroom law. Uh, you guys are no exception to that. I think Target's policy was to allow people to use the bathroom of their choice. I see here the American Family Association has a boycott going of your stores now. Uh, how are you going to continue to navigate this one? Kelly, we've had a long history of embracing diversity and inclusion. A couple of weeks ago, I had one of our team members send me a note reminding me that if we went back to the mid-60s, our company was one of the very first to use African-American models in their advertising. And back then, you know, it wasn't well received. Uh, we had a lot of tough feedback. But sitting here today, we know we made the right decision. And I certainly recognize that the stance we took, which by the way was very similar to many of our retail peers, has received quite a bit of feedback. And as a company, we're constantly listening. So we listen to our guests, we listen to our team members, but what's been lost in this story is the fact that what we also talked about is that the vast majority of our stores, actually over 1,400 of our stores, already have a family restroom. And we're committed over the next few months to make sure every one of our stores has that option because we want our guests to be welcomed in our stores. But if there's a question of safety, I can tell you and others, our focus on safety is unwavering. And we want to make sure we provide a welcoming environment for all of our guests, one that's safe, one that's comfortable, and that's our commitment over time. So we took a stance, and we're going to continue to embrace our belief of diversity, inclusion, and just how important that is to our company. But we're also going to make sure our focus on safety is unwavering and we're going to provide a great environment for our guests to shop every time they're in a the store. Okay, you see that? You know, thank you, Brian, Mr. Carnell, for standing up and you living in your truth and living in your truth as far as standing, you know, for what you feel so needs to be right. You know, it's so sad that we come to this in life, you know, um, transit is in the bathroom. And like I said before, the more I hear the story, I don't feel like we're in the bathroom at all. I feel like have a whole other debate into this switch type of thing. And it would have been sad, you know, and if all the people want to backlash the way, you know, y'all don't belong inside the bathroom, you men, <sighs> get a life. Because at the end of the day, we ain't going nowhere. We've been out weird many, many, many centuries. We didn't just arrive. The sad part about it is that they're trying to do things as far as let and live and let live. And for those who just can't accept it, they won't accept it. And for the people who always trying to tell me, um, well, you know, Raven, we need to try to, we can have a, um, what's the word they always use to me when they want to talk to me? We can have an adult conversation. You know, we're both adults. Let me tell you something about me. Just me. Let me tell you something about me. I'm not in the business of convincing you of anything. If that's the way you feel, cool, that's the way it is. I really don't care. You know, my whole thing is not about convincing you of anything, because I feel like this, it's a waste of my time. It's a waste of my breath to sit up there to convince you. No, listen, this is how we are, this is how it is. When you already got your mind set up, because if you was for me, I wouldn't have to do that with you. You said, well, come on, it's okay. You know, do you, that's your thing. I do me, that's my thing. It has nothing to do with me, but you do the best of doing me into that. But if you want to convince me, it's nothing wrong with adult conversation. Yes, but if it's only one adult in the conversation, then why should I be talking to you? Anyway, the man said, I just want to put that out there, no shade. But anyway, the bit said, hope you're having a safe weekend. I hope you're trying to stay cool. It is very hot. It is 95 degrees. It's burning up. Anyway, the bit said, I want to say hello to my dogs. Yeah. I want to say hello to my kids. Woo. I want to say hello to new people. Boom. I want to say old people. Bam. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. What you to do, I want you to do the best with it. You can. And if nobody likes it, then fuck them. Oh.